engine to digitize. Whether you have Stitch Artist 1, 2, or 3, you can do this. So first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure this little image here, this little icon, is highlighted. This will allow you to toggle the image off and on, but it needs to be highlighted for you to see it. Then we're going to go to the left-hand corner and hit the Image button. I'm going to pop up all of our files. I'm going to go to where I keep all my graphic designs, and I'm going to go on Open Clip Art File. Here, I can choose any JPEG or PNG file. I'm going to choose the Baby Feet JPEG file, and I'm going to open it. There it appears on the screen. It's kind of small, so let's resize it. We can click on it here, or we can click on it in the Objects panel. And if we hold down our Shift key, it will stay centered into the hoop. If we do not hold down our Shift key, it's not going to stay centered. But we can go up to the Utility button, and recenter in the hoop just like that. Now the useful thing about this toggle button is that if you started digitizing this in blue and you really wanted to see um, your threads better and not get any of the background image, you could toggle it off and see where your threads are. You could also go into the transparency of the actual image and make it lighter or darker to better see your stitches as well. But those are a couple of ways you can um, see your stitches better. Also, that is how you're going to import your images. Again, you're going to hit the Image button and choose your file, which is a JPEG or PNG, and bring it on in that way. And remember, this button here is going to toggle it off and on. So if your image does not appear, you may want to check and make sure that's highlighted. Thanks for joining me today.